I'm Peter Sidwell. I am here at Juice and Live at the NEC in this lovely kitchen. I have got a fabulous recipe to share with you. A beautiful ox cheek with chorizo, beer, cumin, chili. Oh, it's going to be absolutely delicious. And it all starts with this amazing cut of beef, an ox cheek. Now, you won't get this in the supermarket, so you need to speak to your butcher, but order it, cook twice as much as you need, because this is absolutely perfect for putting in a flask, keeping nice and warm. So if you are on the building site and it's cold, this will warm you up. So this recipe starts, you need to get a big hot pan with a lid that will go in the oven, okay? Because we want to slow cook this. If you haven't got one of these and you do have a slow cooker, bung it all in, switch it on, go to work, come back, you will have the most incredible dish. But if you're in the kitchen and you've got the time, it's a nice way to do it. So we're gonna oil the beef up a little bit. It's really important that you oil the ingredients, not the pan, because it's about control cooking. I don't want smoking coming out of here. I don't want it to get too hot, but I can control it here. So a good bit of sea salt. I like to use sea salt when I'm cooking meats and vegetables. I use the ground sort of table salt for wet cooking, sauces, soups, things like that. Good amount of pepper. Beef will take a good amount of pepper, okay? So tongs fat side down into the pan, okay? Now turn the pan right up because we want to get loads of caramelization on that side and get all the flavor because that will come out into the sauce and make it amazing. Okay, while the beef is browning off, skin side down, remember, let's get the rest of the ingredients ready. So chorizo sausage, this is one of my favorite ingredients. I'm sure you've all used it before. This thing's got great flavor. So what we're gonna do is just cut the string off there. Now, if you were doing a quick cook, you would cut it really small, but we've got a nice, long, slow cook. So we can afford to cut this into sort of half centimeter slices. Now you can get really sweet and smoky ones, but you can also get really fiery ones. So if you like lots of heat, go for the hot one. Now I've got some shallots here. You could use red onions, you could use white onions. I just like to use these. And then we'll just slice these nice and thin. They'll cook quickly. And they just go really, really sweet and mild. They're lovely. Right, we'll chop the chili in a minute. Let's have a look at the beef. Okay. So if we turn it over, look, you can see the fat there on the beef has really started to crisp up and render. And that means as the slow cook, it will all just melt away. This is the absolute perfect cut of beef to do it with. It just, it has a lot of collagen in it. It has a lot of fat in it and it'll just melt over a nice slow cook. So beef, the skin is super crispy, looks amazing. Now to add the rest of the ingredients. So the chorizo, if you have a little look at that, it's got little pieces of fat running through there. That will melt and give incredible flavor. So just scatter it around the beef. So I'm gonna cook the beef in the chorizo just for about two or three minutes, just to get all the flavors starting to release. And straight away, you can see the flavor, the paprika from the chorizo coming out of into the pan. So time for the shallots. Let's get those in. So we're adding a little bit of moisture now. So the frying process is gonna slow down a little bit. So let's just turn the heat down. So red chili. Now everybody's tolerance level of chili is different. Some people like it like blow your head off. Some people like it quite mild. So go for the chili that you like. If you like the really small hot ones, put those in, that's fine, seeds and everything. If you don't and you just like that kind of gentle warmth, remove the seeds and I'll show you how to do it. So, cut the top straight off, just trim the bottom as well. Cut the chili horizontally, okay? And then just unfold it. So just using your knife, remove the pith and the seeds. And then we'll just slice them one way into matchsticks. So roll your knife through. And then just chop them, the matchsticks into really fine little dice. And then use your knife just to scoop it up 
and pop it straight in. Okay? Right, let's have a little recap. So we've got our ox cheek in the pan, nice and hot, all browned off and caramelized, looking beautiful. We've got diced chorizo sausage in there, we've got shallots, we've got chili, all cooking beautifully. So we just need to add a couple more ingredients. I've got some ground cumin here and it gives it a real kind of depth of flavor. And when you taste it, it makes it that familiar kind of chili flavor. So, a couple of tablespoons in there. That will do. So all good chilies deserve a great beer. So we've gone for a nice dark one here. Put the full bottle in, okay? In it goes. And that's just gonna give us way more flavor. Now, if you don't drink alcohol and you don't, I mean, it will all boil away and, and be gone, but look, if you don't have it in the cupboard, don't worry about it. Add some extra beef stock to it. So we're gonna bring this up to the boil. Okay, so gonna add some beef stock now. It just gives it a bit more depth of flavor and really reinforces it. So these, two of these straight in. And then I've got tinned tomatoes here. So this is gonna give it even more sort of body to the sauce, okay? So just push the beef to one side because you don't want to splash everywhere. And then we're gonna just pour it straight in. Right, just give it a stir together. Make sure there's no sort of clumps of ingredients in one area and the beef has got lots of moisture. It's sat in those juices and it'll just tick over and cook nicely. So, lid on, cloth, we're gonna pop this in the oven, 150 degrees for about three to four hours. Beef's in the oven now and you can tell when it's cooked is when it's super tender and a wooden spoon can just break that beef apart. So, okay, so I've just got this on a low heat, just bringing it up to the boil now. A little peek, here we go. So you can see now, wooden spoon, like I said, look at that, straight through. That is ready and tender and delicious. Let me just show you. Look, it's falling apart as I lift it. It is that tender. And that's because we've used the right cut of beef for the right job. So with a wooden spoon, we're just gonna break the chili up. And then the best way to finish this is with dark chocolate. Now that might seem a bit strange, but what it does is it just brings it all together beautifully. So two pieces of chocolate, just straight in. Give it a stir, it just richens it. It gets it deeper more delicious, it's such a great addition, and it's so much better for it. Baked sweet potatoes, these are the perfect thing to serve your chili with. So all I've done is bake them for 45 minutes till they're nice and soft and tender, and then just split them and open them out. Really good for your sweet potatoes. And then just score it, then all the chili gets into the potato. I'm gonna give it a little seasoning underneath, so on the sweet potato. A little bit of black pepper, and then a touch of smoked rapeseed oil. I love this stuff, but you can use butter if you haven't got it. Now, let's get this chili served. So, just spoon it straight on the top. Now, if you were gonna put this in a flask and maybe eat it on the building site, dice up your sweet potato, Put it on a plate, cover it with clean film, five minutes till nice and tender, and then stir it into your chili, and then you've got it as well. A Little bit more on there. Now, final few little sprigs of coriander. And then sour cream absolutely makes this. So a good spoon of sour cream. I absolutely love to finish this dish with a squeeze of lime. It's a little touch, but it makes a massive difference. So if you want the recipe for this, go to the Juicem blog, download it and get into your kitchen.